Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanya, I'm an integrative health coach and I specialize in leveraging the paleo diet to optimize your health. If you've been thinking about the paleo diet, maybe you heard it from a neighbor, a coworker, but you still don't fully understand it, definitely keep on watching because I'm gonna be going over everything because I think that is the one secret to sticking to a plan is knowing the why behind what you're doing. For the best content on the paleo diet and lifestyle, definitely subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell down below here to be notified every time I post a new video every Wednesday. The biggest common misconception about the paleo diet is that it's so complicated and honestly, I think that's false. If anything, the paleo diet really simplifies everything. Personally, I found it so much easier making the right decisions for my health once I started eating this way. So let's get right into it because I'm sure you're excited to see how you can better your health. So what is the paleo diet? So I'm sure you heard that the paleo diet is based off of how cavemen ate back in the days. That's where the name comes from after all. So it's paleo for paleolithic. And that definitely does make sense, eating in a way that our ancestors did because it's ingrained in our genetics. And genetics take a very, very long time to change. So research is telling us right now that essentially our bodies have not adapted yet to this very grain-filled diet that we're currently consuming. But what's even more interesting and what got me interested in this way of eating is the current research on how the paleo diet affects your health. Paleo is a diet that people that are not feeling their best or that already have been diagnosed with an illness go on and get better. So my question is, why are we just not eating like that in the first place? And then maybe we're not even gonna get sick. Why are people getting better? Well, simply put, the paleo diet includes whole foods that are nutrient rich and excludes foods that are processed, refined, and poor in nutrients. I mean, that's what our bodies are designed to eat. So let's look at what you can have on the paleo diet because it's always good to focus on what you can have rather than what you can't have. So on the paleo diet, you're gonna be eating things like vegetables, fruits, meat, seafood, eggs, and healthy fats like oils, nuts, and seeds. And foods that are not recommended are grains, legumes, conventional dairy, and refined and processed foods like sugar and industrial seed oils. Okay, so I have to ask, which out of these food groups, so the grains, legumes, conventional dairy, and then the sugar and the industrial seed oils would be the most difficult for you to eliminate from your diet? So I know for me personally, grains were so difficult because they are absolutely everywhere. So foods that are eliminated on the paleo diets are foods that provide almost no nutrition. They mess with our gut health, they mess with our hormonal health, and they create inflammation in our bodies. So again, it's not about creating restrictions here, it's about focusing on whole foods that are nutrient dense and eliminating those refined, processed foods that have no nutritional value. But the paleo diet is about way more than just which food groups you can and cannot have. And I think that's where it really sets itself apart from other diets. Paleo really emphasizes on the quality of the foods you consume. So let's say we're having fruits and vegetables. Your best options would be local, organic, and because they're local, they're most likely seasonal. And then if that's not available, then either one or the two, so local, or organic, and then if that's not available, then conventional. When it comes to beef, you wanna look for grass-fed, grass-finished, and organic, but that will be the most expensive and then potentially hard to find depending on where you live. So the next best thing would be grass-fed and organic. And if you're interested in knowing more about what these terms mean, like grass-fed versus grass-finished, then definitely let me know in the comments down below so I can make a completely separate video on that. And yeah, after organic and grass-fed, I would say organic, and then if not, conventional. Similar for poultry and pork, you're looking for pasture-raised, local, and organic. If that's not possible, then organic and free range. If not, organic, and then you get the gist of it. Then we go down to conventional. And for the best fish, you wanna look for wild or wild caught, and if that's not possible, it's not a great option, but it's better than nothing is farm raised. But it's so important not to get caught up here because I understand that not everyone's gonna have access or the budget to get the like top options that I've been mentioning. Like personally, I don't. So instead, do your best and remember that eating conventional 
fruits, veggies, meat is still better than eating like a food-like product packaged up on a shelf. Another key component of the paleo diet is including variety. Because the goal of the paleo diet is to consume a micronutrient-rich diet, it is encouraged to eat a wide variety of foods. So when it comes to fruits and vegetables, a good way to go about it is eating the rainbow. So that means a variety of different colors, and that's because most of these colors are associated with different types of vitamins and minerals. When it comes to animal products, it is encouraged to eat the animal from like nose to tail. And again, that's because there's different vitamins and minerals included in different parts of the animal, with organ meats being the most nutrition dense. Um, even things like bone broth. So I'll make bone broth and have that, and that's so nourishing. All right, that's it guys. I don't wanna overwhelm you too much in this video, but I think this is gonna give you a good understanding of what the paleo diet stands for and how you can implement it in your lifestyle. But definitely stay tuned because over the next month, I'm gonna be releasing a ton of videos and going deeper on specific topics in the paleo diet. So if you actually have any requests, then definitely leave them down below. If you like this video, then I would be so grateful if you could give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Bye.